hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl diana's beauty if you're new to this channel this is a channel we talk everything beauty related and today i'll be continuing a series i started some time ago about waist trainers and the first part i did a review of a waist trainer i bought off aliexpress and in that video i was explaining like the things you should take note when buying a waist trainer and in this video i'll continue because it's kind of like a part two of that video where i'll be telling you tips if you are a waist trainer beginner if you're just starting up on your waist training um journey these are things you should consider and they are very important so without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing to note when getting into your waist training journey is that waist training is an investment okay i'm emphasizing on this point because you know i sell waist trainers and by the grace of god i'll soon have my own website a lot of people buy waist trainers from me and after one month or two weeks or three weeks they call me and they say Vivian um, that waist trainer is big that was not my size and I exchange it no that's not the case with waist trainers waist training is an investment just as you buy your body lotion it gets finished and you buy it again that's how a waist trainer is the purpose of a waist trainer is to clinch in your waist is to train your waist, waist to get smaller and to melt belly fat and in the course of doing this the waist trainer gets bigger and as it gets bigger it means it's time to get another one but notwithstanding there are different qualities if you buy an original waist trainer it can actually take you for a longer period of time and again if you buy like an undersize like if you buy like an undersize then it can take you for like six months before you get another one so this is the one i've been using for over six months now and if you see it's still very firm it's still very firm but i already need another one because even though it's still firm my waist has gotten smaller than how i was six months ago so i need to get another waist trainer and then the second point if you are getting a waist trainer as a beginner make sure that you go on the size i mentioned this like um in the yeah. first point that i gave my dad i just walked in guys i'm sorry for the background noise so make sure that you go on the size because it has to be tight it has to really compress you and if you measure your waist before that's using a tape okay let me get a tape so here is a tape here is a tape and if you measure your waist before you put on the waist trainer and when you put on the waist trainer still measure your waist if your waist line has gone like one inch or two inch smaller then you know that you are on track but if it has not gone smaller know that a waist trainer is not your size and it will not be effective so your waist trainer has to clench you and so when you measure up yourself your waist should be smaller after you have worn your waist trainer right now i'm putting on the waist trainer okay i'll show it in the next um point the next point as a beginner is actually wearing your waist trainer underneath a tank top i will need to demonstrate for this one so this is me in my waist trainer this is me in my waist trainer and if you see very well i'm putting on an inner wear that's what I mean by a tank top. I'm putting on an inner wear before I wear this waist trainer. Because of these ions that you see right here, if you are not putting on a tank top, it might cause wounds, it might leave you with scars. When I started waist training, and by the way, I've been waist training now for um, over two, two years and more. So when I started, nobody told me this and I was waist training and these stripes gave me scars unfortunately i cannot show you now but when you put on this the, the tank top that's like light in a way before you wear a waist trainer it eliminates that problem so just make sure that you're wearing your waist trainer with a tank top third point i like to talk about is knowing the difference between your waist trainers when you're buying a waist trainer if your um, aim is to get an add glass figure and to melt belly fat you need to waist train for at most eight hours a day and at least six hours a day but if you're a beginner you start from maybe four hours and then maybe the first week you start four hours the second week you increase it to five hours and the third week you take it to six hours that's how you walk your way through the process because having an hourglass figure through waist training is all about 
consistency you have to be consistent you should be able to sustain your weight training as you can see i've been weight training now for more than two years and i'm still weight training now because your body is like um your body is flexible and if you give it a particular shape and you don't keep doing what you're doing for it to get that shape it will go back to its normal form because it's like an elastic i don't know if i'm making sense so even if you um, reach your goal it's good to weight train maybe once a week so that you can maintain that body that you got through waist training so get an original waist trainer know the difference between the waist trainers for example now if you want to have an eyeglass before and you are not necessarily wearing the waist trainer to work out there's no point going to go and get the nephron because it will be useless the nephron does not give you the eyeglass people this is a nephron material and this material does not give you the eyeglass um the, the eye, this material does not give you the eyeglass figure it only helps you to sweat and if you are not working out then this will not melt your belly fat at all while on the other hand this is what will give you the figure so if you're a beginner start with the 100 percent latex material start for us and um you work your way up don't just don't don't just get the waist trainer and you start with training six hours eight hours no you will not be able to sustain it because one thing with waist training is sustainability and think going to my next point is if you are waist training you have to add a little bit of exercise to eat so that you know the belly fat your belly fat will be melting off okay so when i started waist training i was i was seeing my waist going in i was seeing my belly getting smaller but because i was not exercising it was shifting the fat downwards all right and i i, I was already big enough downwards i had big uh, hips so i didn't want my butt to be any bigger so i had to stop waist training until i found out that if i am actually working out it's gonna be helpful to melt down that belly fat to melt the fat that is being shifted below my butt yeah because waist training as you're wearing the waist trainer it's just shifting the fat so if you can exercise going to the next point if you add dieting to your waist training um um journey it will really help not only melt that belly fat but also just tone your entire body and make sure that everything is even out now like i mentioned earlier on waist training shifts your fat it either shifts the fat upward or it shifts the fat downward and if you are not dieting you're eating all the junk and everything what happens is that the fat will either be going upward or it will be going downward if you want to have a bigger butt you i don't think it will really be a problem to you but by all means just try to diet and add exercise into your waist training um journey the next thing i like to talk about is um not pulling your waist trainer downward when you wear the waist trainer earlier on i demonstrated to you i'll try to show it again when you put your when you wear your waist trainer make sure that you pull it down let it go uh, under your belly there are different tools of uh, waist trainers like if you want to order a waist trainer I always make sure that I ask your measurement in inches and in centimeters and then you send me a picture just so I can have your exact size the pe some people are low some people ha um, some people are tall some people are short so the way a good waist track a waist trainer is it should be able to fit this categories regardless there are different two sorts of waist trainers so you these are some of the things you need to consider before buying a waist trainer if not you will just be investing your money in something that is not gonna work just like the video i did before this one that i was telling you about the waist trainer i spent almost 50 euros on and it came and it was not a good waist trainer this is because of lack of information and before i even started waist trainer I ordered about eight different waist trainers from eight different websites which came and they were not effective so guys please help share this video so that more women can get this information when investing in a, in a waist trainer you know i told you it's an investment so when you get one you 
after it gets big you need to get another one that's just how it is just as you're changing your clothes you need to be changing the waist trainers as time goes on but the greatest tip is go a size on the knee the first okay the, let me go to the next point the next point is that it for the first time it's gonna be uncomfortable okay i'm not gonna sugarcoat you or tell you that no when you wear it it has to be no it's gonna be very uncomfortable when you're wearing it for the first time i also have a video where i show you how to wear a waist trainer for the first time so if you don't know how to wear a waist trainer for the first time you would think that it's not your size whereas it is your size so go ahead and watch that video it's on my channel i'll also create a playlist on the waist trainers because i'll be talking about waist trainers a lot from now on especially as uh, my brand is coming up but notwithstanding guys you can always place your orders don't be scared okay i know there's a lot of online scam now and a lot of people have approached me telling me that no no if i don't have a website you know all that reaching out for me because you don't trust the source honestly i'll not shut down my youtube channel because we ordered one way trainer for me so i'm very legit everybody has ordered a way trainer for me so far that we see the way trainers and they can tell you that it's just the best quality so far okay i'll be coming up with such things but for now i'm gonna end the video here i remember the last point when you wear your waist trainer pull it right down to go underneath your stomach because if it does not go underneath your stomach you're gonna have um what we call lock handles since waist trainers only help to shift your fat you're gonna have lock handles and there'll be a demarcation between your butt and your um between your butt and your waistline and we don't want that just make sure that you're getting the right to go for yourself the right length the right size and the best quality okay we'll end the video here and i'm gonna see you in the next video i love you so much it's a girl Diana's beauty bye